Good day, traders. One minute mindset reset. Uh, good to be back in North America. Uh, crazy return trip. <laughs> Basically, two days of trying to get uh, our, our flights got delayed uh, twice, and uh, getting out of Alberg was no problem to Copenhagen, and Copenhagen getting back to Canada was a bit of a drama. So, but we finally made it back. Uh, we missed uh, our, our driver was rescheduled. Our shuttle was. <laughs> rescheduled but we made it back in the middle of the night and uh, slept caught up on some sleep and uh, just took some a rest and then uh, this morning slept in till about uh, quarter to nine knowing that we had major red news and uh, not overly uh, you know excited or crazy about uh, trying to chase anything because we got a, a week full of major red news and when that happens uh, you know as i I've, we've got different types of opportunities with the news. And, uh, when we have a non-farm payrolls week, we had fed on Wednesday, we had day one, day two, day three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we had day three breakout trades this week that turned into first red days. Uh, we had first red day opportunities in the Asian session. We had first red day trades in the U S session on uh, indexes, massive moves, huge, huge moves. Uh, we had day zero setups on gold on Tuesday. Uh, for a three session parabolic uh, day two trend trade uh, lots of massive opportunities fantastic opportunities this week for traders in terms of five star scalable trade setups and so coming to the screen it's thursday day four we've had uh, a day three blow off move on the euro yen after major red news ecb as well as the unemployment uh, release at 8 30 and new york open and new york open gave trades on gold euro yen uh, DJ 30, just to name a few, we'll go over some charts later. I'll, uh, endeavor to get caught up with all the questions and emails, uh, comments as well. I apologize. I haven't been online the last couple of days because of the travel and just, just spending time with my sons and enjoying the, the break. To be honest, it was kind of nice just to be off, off the charts. Uh, I haven't done that for a while, just really cleanly off the charts. So it was good to just take a break. And uh, good to just get back on there today and take a simple trade. Uh, so regardless of the news or, or anything else, stick to the to the game plan. Uh, these are the types of trades that when they present three session opportunities, three day opportunities, they're the ones, again, that will compound your account quickly. And they're low stress, very simple to execute because you literally only have one direction you can trade when, when you understand the setups. So I reinforce that Trading should be low stress, simple, and reproducible. And uh, if you take those trades over and over again, uh, trading is a, a pursuit of pleasure, as Paul Tudor Jones says. And I find myself, you know, narrowing it down even more to just one or two setups over and over again. Because those one or two setups are the ones that I really seem to, you know, resonate with the best or recognize the, the easiest. And I'll go long or short with those setups because it's the same setup in either direction. But the, the most important thing to understand is that when you get a, a, a three-day, three-session parabolic, uh, they're not coming back. They're going to go off like a bullet. If they come back later, who cares? It doesn't matter as long as you can get an opportunity for an easy 50, 75, 100, or as we saw in the indexes yesterday, maybe several hundred pips. Uh, virtually with zero heat, zero stress. Um, but, you know, most importantly, uh, stick to the routine and the timing window. Everything outside, I, for me, I look at uh, things outside of the timing window as 50-50. Now, there are certain situations when there are 90-10 opportunities in the gaps and at the end of the day with the U.S. session. But again, I don't trade those times. And... Uh, you know, there's days when you can come to the screen and say, oh, that would have been good if I'd come earlier or whatever, or that was a great trade if I'd stuck around and come back later. But the point I like to try and do with myself is keep everything the same, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Because as soon as I start coming to the screen in the gap time or sticking around at the end of the day, I'm going to start doing it every day and I'm probably going to start looking for trades even when they're not there. Or taking trades that are poor quality when again if you focus on those 90 10 opportunities those three session parabolics as i said and i've said this in previous videos you only need one or two trades a week 
that can comp compound your account. So when you understand those three session parabolics, uh, that's a big consolidation for an explosive move. Wait for the red news to be released. Uh, let the market give you the setup and then position yourself. If it's scalable and you want to add in and it's taking off, feel free to do so. But manage your downside and also understand when to take money off the table uh, or be taking money out of the market and leaving a trailer in to run. So again, uh, I'll be getting back to everybody's comments, questions, and uh, you know, I, I apologize. I've just been off offline and uh, it's actually pretty good to take a break. So just had uh, heading to the gym for a light workout feeling much better today last couple of days really lethargic this uh, travel really knocked me around this time it was a rough flight coming back and uh yeah not uh, i've done enough flight travel for a while so tomorrow non-farm payrolls we could end up having a day three trade again tomorrow on some some set uh some instruments uh wednesday thursday friday day one day two day three we've had peak formations put in on some pairs uh at highs and lows of the week um, we'll see how today closes and then we'll take a look at that. We'll be, I'll be getting on top of some videos today to get out some content. Uh, I've had some thinking about how perhaps we can better potentially deliver the message so that traders can grasp it simpler in terms of the day three breakouts, three session setups, and the Monday to Friday three day templates. So. Thank you again for all the comments and feedback. As you can tell, I'm probably a little congested, so still getting over this. Gonna have a good steam today. Might even get a massage. So good to be back. Uh, Denmark, an amazing country. Uh, really lovely people. Beautiful food. Uh, very modern. Very efficient. Uh, great place. Uh, Europeans in general, the Swedes, the Finns, uh, Slovenians, uh, Estonia. Swiss, Czechs, uh, U.S., the U.S. contingent, great, great time. Lots of really great people, some amazing athletes. My sons had uh, the time of their life. It was an uh, extremely competitive tournament and just something special to be part of a World Cup event. Europeans know how to do things right. It was first class. And uh, again, thank you for your hospitality. It was uh, it was a trip of a lifetime. So I'm going to hit this. I'm going to be hitting it pretty hard over the next few weeks. Um, lifting the bar. I set a few, some new goals for myself and uh, planning on hitting them. Have a great day, traders. 1% better. Keep it going. Keep it growing. This is your year. And may the markets go with you.